Hey guys, here I am with your top 12 spring break exercises that we've come up with the last month over at Core Physique. Exercise number one is what we like to call the four point squat. We learned it from Nick Tuminello, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Number one is arms up, you bend over, squat down, arms come up, and then you stand up. There are four points to this. You wanna make sure that you go through each four points in slow and controlled. So one, squat down two, knees stay out, arms up three, stand up four. Bend over, squat down, knees stay wide out, arms up, and then stand up. I'd like you to do this one set of 30 or two sets of 15, depending on your level. And again, when you're doing this, make sure that as you bend over, you have a nice, you're not rounding in your back, try to keep a nice flat back. Squat down, hands up, and then slowly come up. That's exercise number one, and we're gonna go on to exercise number two. All right guys, here we are with exercise number two. Exercise number one focused a lot on quads, glutes, and core. This next exercise is gonna focus more on our booties, getting ready for those bathing suits that we're getting ready to be in. We're in April, month of April, May's coming in June. We wanna make sure that we're bathing suit ready. So at home, if you have a couch, a harder couch, or a chair and a coffee table, what you want to do is you want to find your equipment, and you want to make sure that nothing slides, because you are going to have to have your weight on both pieces of equipment. Come down. You want to be right at your shoulder blades. I like to have my arms wide to be able to support myself. You're going to lead this one, a little bit too close, heel, toes up, and you want to lead with your glutes. So you're going to push up and down. Up and down. And what you want to make sure that you're doing is really squeezing with your glutes. You don't want to use your lower back. If you round and then you thrust through your back, that's not isolating the glutes. You really want to keep your core strong, stable, and lead and push through. Feel like somebody's pushing through up to those glutes. If that's too easy, you can take one foot back, go down and up, down and up. And when you do lift that leg, you want to make sure that this leg stays stationary. I like to put a tennis ball right here to hold on to that to really isolate my glutes. And then you can switch to the other side. Two sets of 15 on each leg will be a great glute workout. So there you go. That's exercise number two. All right guys, here we are with exercise number three. We're gonna focus on, you all know that I love push-ups. So I found a creative way to do push-ups that are gonna challenge both your chest and your core, your obliques. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down into a push-up position, pushing through those shoulder blades, feet hip width apart, and then you're gonna turn your body to the side so that your hips and your knees are even. And they're gonna go down and up. So you really can feel this in your chest as well as in your obliques. Down and up. If that's too hard, Drop to your knees, still keeping torqued, and then down and up, down and up. And you remember, it's not a full push-up unless you can go all the way down and all the way up. No hovering at the top here. That's not really a push-up. Go all the way down. Good, and then you can switch sides. Come on in, drop those hips, down and up. Good. All right, so there you go. That's exercise number three.